Hey everyone, welcome to your 30 minute upper body strength ladder workout. This is day number two in our deload week, the last week of pre before we get into summertime fine. And remember, your mission is to just kind of dial it back a little bit so that you don't need so much recovery from this week. Just moving through full ranges of motion, a little bit lighter in the weights and breathing through every rep. I really just want you to connect with your body, get some movement in, get some blood flow and maintain your fitness level this week. Don't go for any PRs, don't go for any max weights today unless that's what you really, really need. But for your mission, going into summertime fine, I want you to feel great starting that program. So today's workout is an upper body strength ladder. We have 30 seconds of nine exercises, and then we go back to the top, 45 seconds of those nine exercises. Then we'll go back to the top one more time, one minute through all of those nine exercises. You've got a shoulder and a push and a pull exercise three times through. It'll make sense once we get into it, but let's go ahead and get started with your warm up. And don't forget to make sure you are subscribed to the channel before we hop into summertime fine. If it's your first workout here, I cannot wait to work out with you. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, big warm up circles backwards in three, two, one, let's go. Good job, open your chest up. Very excited for this workout. Like I said, move well today, breathe through every workout. Every exercise is meant to just take your muscles through all the ways that they can work for you in our upper body. Cross your chest. You've got to push, you've got to pull, you've got a shoulder move. And we'll do that three different ways. Heavier weights will be in the beginning of the workout and then we'll drop down to lighter or beginning of the circuit, I should say. And I'm gonna just use my 15 and 10 pounds today. It's deload week, so I'm not pushing my heaviest. Shoulder press, bent row, and chest press are your first movements. Hinge forward, let's go push and relax. That's where I'm gonna use my 15 pounds. Then we'll go into some flies and curls. And then we'll go into some tricep kickbacks, lateral raises. Good job, last one. And I'll drop down to my tens for those. Up and over. Always go with what you need for the workout today, but just remember you don't need to go at your max weight every single workout. And if you're following this program real time, this is a week that is intentional for your recovery. Good job, hand on your low back, push and back. Push and back. One more. Push and back. All right, 15 seconds. We're gonna start with 30 seconds of shoulder press, okay? All right, I'm gonna grab my 15s. Grab a weight that works for you. 30 seconds overhead. Four, three, two, exhale. Let's go. Good, this will be our shortest round of everything. A big giant set, one through nine. And then we'll go 45 seconds of all of them and then we'll go one minute for all of them. And feel free to drop down to your lightest weight in that minute. Five seconds. Two, one, good. 15 seconds rest. That'll be your rest period for the whole day. We've got bent rows right here. Okay, if you wanna drop down to the floor, you can, if you wanna put your dumbbells on a bench, you can do that too. Let's go. Close your eyes, think about your shoulder blades reaching for each other. Slow on the way down, eight, seven, Two, one, we go down to chest press on the floor or on the bench. Totally up to you. All right, dumbbells over your chest. We go in five. Shoulder blades pinched together so your chest is nice and stretched. Let's go. Good job. 15. Six. 
Seven, six. Two, one, come on up for hammer curls. Now in the 30 second round, you might be able to keep the same weight, okay? We're gonna do everything together on this round. So two arms are curling, pressing, rowing, instead of alternating. Two, one, exhale. Good job, 15. Five. Rest, tricep overhead extensions. Okay, so we're up here. Go heavier if you would like. Remember, it's about full range of motion. Feel the stretch, then push back up to feel that flex and extension. Two, one, let's go. Great job. Ten. Three, two, one, good, front raises. I'm gonna go down to my tens for this one. Okay, feel free to go wherever you need. Okay, just coming from your sides, yeah. right out front. Three, two, one, yeah. let's go. Good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Load it. Yeah. 14. What? Next up, you've yeah. got a chest fly. You're going to lay down on the floor yeah. or your yeah. bench. Two, one. Good job. Chest fly on the bench or on the floor. Start over your chest and remember. Don't come up around your shoulders. Stay around the rib cage. Four, three, two, one. Big stretch, come on. Great job. Thirteen, twelve. Three, two, one, stand up, back flies. Okay, so we're gonna go for the back, hinging here. We're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together to start this movement. Okay, four, three, two, let's go. Think about your elbows gliding back, shoulder blades are retracting. Fifteen. This is exercise number eight. We'll hit lateral raises next to close out our first round of work. Kind of give you a taste for everything, right? Three, two, one. Good. Stand up. Lateral raises for the shoulder. You can bend your elbow just a little bit if you need to. Taking it right here. Okay. Whew. Let's go. Four, three. Two. Fifteen. Now, in the next round of all nine of these moves, we'll hit everything for 45 seconds. Resting for 15. Okay, and if you need to go down in weights to last for the 45, do that. Two, one, good job. All right, we're headed up. Shoulder press, back to the top. You've got 30 seconds of rest right here. Okay, remember, range of motion, breathing, feeling your muscles work. They might be warm, they might be warm in round number two. Okay, back to the top. 
Nine seconds if you want to alternate this round. Feel free. Three, two, one, let's go. 45 on the clock. Good, and a lot of times in these deload weeks, you can really feel the muscle working for you and that connection moving forward is crucial, okay? You'll learn what it's supposed to feel like before grabbing the heaviest weight that you think you can possibly move. That's the most important, moving well so you can move for a long time. 10. Three, two, great work. Bent rows are next. Now, if you wanna alternate, like I said, that's totally fine. If you wanna go down to the floor for some support, also fine. I'm gonna use my bench. Okay, same kind of idea, just a little support for my back. Let's go. Fifteen seconds, then we'll go to chest press. One more each arm. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Chest press on the bench or on the floor. All right, you guys feeling good? Feeling strong. Hope you're feeling really connected to this workout. Let's go. So much power and just feeling good in your body. Feeling like, okay, my muscles are working hard for me. If you think nothing else right now, think about strength in the workouts and outside of it. I know this transfers to how you operate as a human, not just someone who works out. Breathe. Yes, you can. In so many ways. Yes, you can. 15 seconds. One more, two, one, rest. Hammer curls, come on up. Now you can keep the same weight and alternate or you can go down and keep both arms moving at the same time. I'm gonna alternate myself, okay? Here we go, four, three, two, Feel that connection. Fifteen, good job. Keep the elbow right there. Don't swing it to the side. Don't scoop it towards your dumbbell. One more each arm. Four, three, or just two more in general. Two, one, good job. Tricep overhead extensions. Just one dumbbell. You can also sit down if you have trouble sometimes, maybe arching your back a little bit too much. Okay, feel free to go right here. Let's go. And if you're ever in a place where all you have is maybe like a longer pull-up resistance band, you can always strap it kind of underneath a chair and go about it this way. Always a way to make it work. Feeling good, feeling the full range of motion, that full stretch, full extension. 15. Good job, you've got front raises up next. If you wanna drop down a little lighter, be ready to do that. Two, one, all right, let's go. Front raises for 45. I'm gonna go down to my 10s. 
Feel free to go wherever serves you today. Three, two, one, let's go. Good job. Something else you can do here to take a little bit of momentum out. Stop right here. Okay, really isolates the shoulder. And I'm just kind of showing you things this week that you might want to use moving forward. Since this isn't like a max push week, it's more about move well week. I hope you're feeling good. 15 seconds. It's a lot easier when you're standing to kind of swing a bit, to kind of use your hips a bit. So that seated position really helps isolate the work. And rest, you got chest flies up next. Let's go ahead and head down. Okay, pinch your shoulder blades together so your chest opens up a little more. Good job. And let's go. And if you're on the floor, you only have so far to go before your elbows hit. So make sure your wrists aren't directly over your elbows. They're extended so your arms are more long, still a little bit rounded. But the longer they are, the more stretch you get in your chest, which is more beneficial in terms of feeling the mind muscle contraction. Fifteen. Good job, five. Two, one, back flies. Come on up. All right, you can alternate here if you would like, if you need to. Remember, keep your hips hinged, okay? Bending your elbow, take your elbow back. Make sure you're not doing kind of like a lateral raise. Two, one. Think about the shoulder blade. A lot of people think they need to go way back here, right? Just squeeze your shoulder blade back. Feel that. Now make that long arm extension happen while you do that. If your chest is nice and open, your back can contract a little bit more. If you're rounded here, your back is stretched, which makes it harder to contract. Those two are opposite. So open your chest up, keep moving. Three, two, one, good job. Lateral raises, last one. Okay, coming out to the side. A little bent elbow, okay? Make sure you're not over flexing your wrists. Just keep them relaxed. Three, two, one, let's go. All you have to think about is lifting your elbow out and then up. Good job. Fifteen seconds, and then we'll hit everything top to bottom for sixty seconds. Fifteen seconds rest. Five, three, two, one. Good. Fifteen seconds rest. If you need water, go ahead and grab it. We're going shoulder press in ten. 60 seconds, so adjust the weight where you know you can last. Three, two, one, let's go. Move well, breathe deep. While we're here, if you don't mind me talking you through some things to think about, make sure. If you were to look in the mirror right now, you're lowering at the same time, you're pushing at the same time, okay? Not here, all right? Also, make sure from the side, you're not taking your elbows way back here. They're a little bit in front of your body. 45 seconds, or 45 degrees in front of your body. You got 20 seconds left. If you need to, start alternating. Okay, when you do that, core is engaged.
Good, give me five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. 15 seconds rest. You've got bent rows for 60. I suggest going down to either the floor on your hands and knees when we alternate or put something, a bench or a box underneath your dumbbells. Two, one, let's go. A little bit of a chest opening here. Good, think of your hand as kind of like a little hook, right? If you pull back and you start flexing your wrist like this, gets a little more bicep heavy, a little more cramped in your elbow. I need the action to be all on your back. 30 seconds. Good job. Five, three, two, one. Chest press. 15 seconds rest. Take it down to the floor or onto your bench. At a weight you know, this is gonna feel good. Like I said, should you get to that point where you're super tired, start alternating. Left, then right. Let's go. Good, feel that good stretch in your chest? Nice job. Moving into summertime, fine. You're gonna see work periods that are similar to this last round. Our first tier is all about muscular endurance, core stability. So we'll do some unilateral work. We'll focus a lot on the abs and a lot in working for longer periods. So a good sweat. Okay, pay attention to how you're pacing yourself in this. Add a little ab focus, add a little one arm, one leg training, and that's where it gets spicy in tier number one of summertime fun. Five, three, two, one, rest. Come up for hammer curls. One minute, if you need to alternate, that's fine. Okay, keep that neutral grip. Keep your elbow here, so don't let it swing out. Don't let it scoop up. Let's go. Good job. Thirty seconds. Good work. Another thing to think about on your curls, make sure you're not diving into it with your shoulder. So if it's more of a this, your shoulder's coming forward, stay upright a little more. Five, three, two, one, Rest, tricep overhead extensions. Drop one dumbbell down. Okay, feel free to sit or stand. Taking it overhead. Take the time to feel this stretch. Three, two, one, let's go. Great job, 30 seconds. Feel a good stretch there. Stay connected, you've got 10. 
two more. Two, one, rest. Front raises. Probably gonna wanna drop down one dumbbell set. Okay, I'm gonna go lighter and keep both my arms working the whole time. Ready? Let's go. Good. This is one of those exercises that depends a lot on your elbow and your wrist. They're so far from the lever point being your shoulder in this instance, but it makes a lot of sense that this is lighter than you want, lighter than you think, but connecting with this front part of your shoulder, the anterior deltoid, it's really important for the way that your body starts to transform. Okay, when you start to see these muscle striations in your shoulders, you start to feel a little bit of a shoulder cap. Connecting with your shoulder exercises is crucial. Okay, if that means you have to lighten the load a little bit, that's okay. But this, with heavy weights, is less effective than this with a controlled weight. 30 seconds. Good job, feel it, come on. Eight, seven. We're almost there, you're going into chest fly after this. Three, two, one, rest, good job. Chest fly, I'm gonna go up just one set. Okay, down to the floor or the bench. Let's go, squeeze your shoulder blades together, open your chest and we're flying, come on. Before you think about wrists coming back together, think about driving your elbows in towards each other. Hey, pinkies and elbows. Thirty seconds. Your chest is shaking a little bit. Squeeze at the top to feel it, and then slowly open up again. This is good. Good job, seven. One more, two, one, 15 seconds rest and you go into back flies. We've got back flies and lateral raises to finish us off, okay? If you wanna go alternating, feel free. I'm gonna do the same thing. Here we go, four, three, two, one, come on. Thirty seconds. Good. Fifteen. One more. Four. Three. Two. One, and rest, and you've got lateral raises. I'm gonna lighten it up again so I can go both arms the whole time. And this is, by the way, down to my five pound dumbbell. So, I wanna last for 60 seconds. If you wanna take it a bit heavier and alternate, that's okay. Okay, let's go. Last minute of work here, and then we'll close it out with a stretch. Okay, keep hydrating after this. Make sure as soon as you're done, you subscribe to the channel so we can get as many lives changed as possible 
from these workouts. I know they'll change some lives this year. I know summertime fine is gonna be different this year for you. And if you help me share this as a community, we can just really create this ripple effect that gets people to recognize how strong they can be, how fit they can feel, how amazing they can look and how they wanna see their body change. It can happen. 15 seconds, come on, let's go. Nine, last couple all together. Four, three, two, one, and rest. You've made it to your cool down. If you can give me just a minute, I want you to relax your back. I want your shoulders to feel good. I want your neck to feel good, okay? So stay here with me. Grasp your hands together. Push down towards the floor. Round your back. Drop your head. Good job. Push to the floor. Stay right here. Take your hands over towards your right shoe. Feel that in your low back. Good, switch it over. Other side, feel that in your low back. I know this year is gonna be different for you. I know over the next 12 weeks, you and I are gonna really transform our lives. I know it's possible. I know this program is research backed and every single year it gets people into that place where they finally tack in and say, this is it for me. I'm dedicated, I'm committed, I wanna feel summertime fine. And what that means to everyone is different and that's the beauty of this journey. But what I can promise you is progressive workouts that go from where you are, from every single fitness level, and we challenge ourselves more each tier. So getting into this postpartum, if you're cleared, getting into this very beginner, getting into this very advanced, everyone is gonna start where we are and we're gonna advance from there. Okay, I'll be showing you throughout the workout, just like always, ways to dial it back, ways to step it up. All you're gonna need, dumbbells, optional things are glute resistance bands. I would suggest you grab those for some really good glute work. Jump ropes for a little bit of cardio if you have the room and the space for it. A bench, all these other things are optional. Truly the only thing you're gonna need is a couple sets of dumbbells, okay? Sliders, if you have them, Good job, put your palms down to the floor. And if you really want to significantly change your life, truly learn how to make this a lifestyle instead of just a program, join me in the Sydney squad so I can help you with your nutrition. That's where the real changes are made, I can promise you. As much as I want it to just be all about fitness, <laughs> it happens outside of these workouts. The big changes come from significant, consistent adjustments that become habits in your day. Okay, lift your chin up to the sky. All right, and as you head out today, make sure you stretch a little bit more, get some water, get some great food, and I will see you back here for our workout tomorrow. Great job. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment below what you thought of this workout. I'll see you tomorrow.